I'm out here in the garden and I just wanted to show you a quick video. I'm standing in the middle um, next to my cabbages that are getting destroyed by cabbage worms, cabbage loopers, and zebra. And then that's Tim. He says, what are you talking about, lady? Better not be trying to harm my ladies. He's become quite the annoying little rooster. He woke us up yesterday even. Anyway, um, they're getting destroyed. But I've been out here and I've, I hear you. I've picked hundreds <laughs> of those stupid things off of this. And I was going to put some diatomaceous earth on it, but um, it was supposed to rain. So in the background, you can hear somewhere off in the faraway land over there is another rooster crowing. Every time that rooster crows, just crowed, my rooster crows. They like are talking to each other. So anyway, um, cabbages. Yes, Bubby? I'm in the garden. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. All right, I will. So, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of my garden. Um, watermelon is taking over everything. So it's just going bonkers. It's, this is corn. These are strawberries. Watermelon growing everywhere. I'm trying to keep it contained, so I keep moving the vines to grow like in the rows but it's getting harder to walk in here. And it's kind of growing underneath my trellis and it's growing over there. This is just all watermelon. This is two plants. It's all that's in here. <laughs> it's taking over everything. I've never grown watermelon like this before. I've grown it one year, but it did not do this. These are cucumbers and we made this trellis like after they already grew all this way. So I'm hoping that they'll start growing up and over it. This is butternut squash that I'm training, training to the trellis. Um, you can kind of see my little, right there, little butternut squash kind of growing on there. And these are just all of my squashes. Some of them aren't doing very well because of squash vine borers. I've managed to salvage most of them though. I think there's one plant and it's one my zucchini plant that is not doing very well. These are my first round of green beans. They're kind of petering out now. I'm not getting very many off of them and they're starting to yellow. So I'm going to pull these up in the next week and plant some more green beans there um, because I've got green beans everywhere else in the garden already that we'll start producing this week. This is one of my zucchini squashes. This thing is like, I don't even know what this is. Some sort of round squash. It might be like a long acorn squash. A vining acorn squash. I've got a bunch of acorn squashes. I've got um, this is another zucchini. You can kind of see one here. I've got bush acorn squash and I've got vining acorn squash. And I just kind of went a little overboard. So this is my zucchini or uh, spaghetti squash right here. Now you can tell this one's dying. It's probably getting eaten alive by squash vine borers that I just can't manage to get out of there. Ooh, it's pokey. Um, but you can see all the damage at the bottom, like all that yellowing and there's like gunk that they, that comes out from their poop and stuff. So like that is all telltale squash vine borer. And I've just given up with this plant. I'm not going to spend any more time on it. It's not a big deal. We don't eat spaghetti squash anyway. Um, I mean we do, but we would if we had it, but I'm not devastated. Um... I've got a pumpkin. This is a sugar pie pumpkin growing there. And I've got another thing there. See, this one has squash vine borers too. And you can tell, oh, see, this is already, this is an unhealthy plant. Look at, see this right here? Squash vine borer. So inside is a maggot, or maybe more, that are eating the plant alive from the inside. And unless you want to perform surgery on every single one of your plants, which I've done several times already, there's really not much more you can do. I mean, I think you can inject like BT and stuff, but almost every single one of mine has it. So you can see this one. See, I've already performed surgery on all of these, but look at that one's got squash vine borer in there. Oh, this one does too. Look at pretty bad. 
So, you know, I've gotten a lot of squash out of these already. We're just going to let them kind of run their course. Um, I'm not super devastated because I've actually got zucchini squash planted elsewhere that's coming up for a fall harvest. And when you plant the zucchini for a fall harvest, you're less likely to get borers because they're a late summer problem. Get the pollinators. Just love it. It's so cool. Do your job, buddies. Um... And of course, I'm organic gardening, so I don't really want to use very much. I think you can, like, inject the stem with BT, which is some sort of, um, some sort of bacteria, like, that attacks the worm. And it doesn't hurt your plant, and it doesn't hurt you. So, you can do that, but I don't really want to. Um, see, these are these... These are weeds that I've got growing in here. These are trees that will grow up and they have these big old thorns here. It's awful. I just keep trying to pick them down. I got one growing there too. I need to cut them. So here's some more squash. This is my cucumber that I love. They're so yummy. Nicole White thinks that they are called English cucumbers, but here's, a, here's one. But I let them get a lot bigger than that before I pick them. And here's all my watermelon. And I've actually seen some watermelons growing. I've got lots and lots of watermelons. So let me gingerly make my way through my squash corner. And show you the rest of my garden. Alright. More weeds. Lots and lots of weeds. Um, this is sorghum. So it's kind of like a... It looks like corn, but it'll come up and it'll have like this big bud and it'll all be seeds and what I'll do is I'll actually just keep it and I'll plant it next year too because I'm going to have a whole um, garden dedicated to chicken grains so that's what I'm going to do with that these are my tomatoes which I obsessively prune but I didn't know quite how to prune at first so they kind of got away from me I like to come out here and get it, but like, see, these are all called suckers and they just kind of go all over the place. I've been coming out and just attaching the suckers to these stakes, but it's been so hot the past few days that I just haven't gotten a chance to do it. So I'm going to come out here today, but I've got a lot of cherry tomatoes coming in right now. And I've got these big fat ones that hopefully will ripen soon. These are my fall peas. I had no success with spring peas at all, but so far my fall peas are coming in. I've got an extra zucchini there and like one right there growing. These are some more green beans. These are all green beans. Actually, these are gonna be purple beans, but they're the same, they taste the same, I suppose. These are some carrots that I did manage to germinate, but I don't know what they're doing. These are some more beans. Because every time I pull something, I put a bean in there. <laughs> These are parsnips. And I pulled one yesterday and they're not ready yet. But they take, I think, like 100 days to harvest. So I've got some time. This is amaranth. Again, this is a chicken grain that I'm going to use. Although it's a good gluten-free grain to make breads and stuff. But we don't, we don't really eat grains at our house. So I'm going to... Again, I'm going to do a whole garden next year dedicated to just chicken grains. Because chickens would really appreciate amaranth. Some more of my green beans coming in. Green beans are something you can just continuously sow throughout the season. Um, they're quick growing, quick to harvest. Um, that's a broccoli that managed to come up. I don't know what it's going to do. Thyme. Some random carrots that might work. This is my Chinese five color pepper. I think they're supposed to change colors. So they're purple now, but they like turn five different colors. They're supposed to be spicy. Some more of my fall peas I planted earlier and they're actually starting to blossom. My random squashes, these are from, we were throwing all of our compost in the garden. So instead of putting it in our compost bin, we would just throw all of our vegetable scraps in the garden area over the winter. And I think that these are some sort of hybrid of cross-pollination. I don't know what they are, but they look like this. So there's some sort of hybrid gourd. 
Um, and hopefully we can get some eating out of that when the time comes. Bee balm. These are zinnias coming up. Some sunflowers. So when I post pictures of my garden, I typically post like ones from really great angles, right? So this is the reality of my garden. It's been taken over completely by everything right now. And there's no point in even trying to weed it at this point. Um, this is rosemary. This is, I think, some sort of sunflower that I planted. Thyme. Peppers that just are not doing okay at all. These are um, acorn squashes. I've got some acorn squashes growing on it. Another random tomato. Huge basil. More green beans that I've been planting all year. I planted these ones as I took all my peppers out. Or my onions, excuse me. Onions out. Pumpkins. Jack-o'-lantern pumpkins I just planted a few weeks ago. Green beans. I think these are some sort of cantaloupe. Some more cucumbers. And then these are all green beans where these was where my onions were. And over here is my hay garden, which, you know, I, I like to um, rag on this garden quite a bit, but it actually is productive. I just don't like the weed factor. Um, I'm going to be a lot better about it this coming year. I'm not going to do the hay in here again. Hay worked really well for my potatoes, but I just don't like the upkeep. And some people have really great success and they claim they don't have any weeds, but as you can see, I've got lots and lots of weeds in here. So these are, this is my sweet potato patch. So all these are sweet potatoes. A random sunflower. This should get 10 to 12 feet tall. It's black Russian. Um, I planted probably about 20 of these right there. None of them came up because I think they got eight, but this did. Patch of corn. My amaranth, more amaranth. This is so tall. It's It comes up to, well, this one here comes up to my shoulder. You can see, here's my shoulder right there. <laughs> and I think it's going to get bigger and it's going to have really, really pretty blooms on it. But my apple tree. Some more corn. See these two rows right here are supposed to be sweet corn. I had z z almost a zero germination rate. I mean, look at this. I've got a few. And I planted this out three different times. So something was eating my corn in here. Got some watermelon planted there. And intermixed with everything else, again, watermelon. I've got, I think, three watermelon plants in here. It's just kind of crazy. I've, apparently, I really wanted watermelon. They're taking over everything. This is supposed to be a strawberry patch. These are marigolds, which are, haven't bloomed yet, but they will. Sunflower and watermelon. And my watermelon is going out through the gate into the yard, which I don't mind. It's fine. Again, watermelon just kind of everywhere, trying not to step on it. These are my corn patches that, or my corn rows that actually did do okay. Um, I think they're separated too far apart. These are the ones that I thought had to be like a foot apart and then somebody told me they don't But I never went and redid anything with them. Now these ones back here This is lavender clay corn and we've been self-pollinating these um, I taught the kids how to do it. So we've been coming out and shaking the pollen on all of the The silks so I'm hoping to get a good yield out of this This hasn't come up yet. I for I think this is glass gem corn right here So this is just a decorative corn this row is mini blue popcorn, so this hasn't started to pollen yet, but we will self-pollinate, or we will also pollinate that manually, just to make sure we have a yield if we do. Random sunflower, this whole entire row right here was supposed to be sunflowers, y'all, and I got one. Um, lots of purple basil, because I just came out here and sprinkled a whole bunch of basil seeds. I'm not very organized, I just like to sprinkle stuff and see what happens. Cucumbers, I'm hoping we'll just trail up this. I've got some dill right here. Let me go through the corn patch here. This is okra, which is looking pretty good. Some lettuce, just lots of weeds. Beets right here. I could probably pull those, but I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Um, 
These are sunflowers. These are sunflowers. Watermelon, of course. Everything else is watermelon. It's kind of crazy. I've got some random carrots there, which might, may or may not produce anything. I have no idea. And then these are my poor, sad little, can't even see them, <laughs> peppers. One, two, three. I think I've got like 12 of them in here somewhere. Peppers were not my forte at all. I think a lot of people have had a problem with peppers this year, but it is what it is. This is just kind of a crazy um, oregano. It's went to it's went to flower and probably to seed soon, but can still harvest. I harvested some of it the other night and put it on my roast, and it was delicious. But anyway, this is my garden. I'm pretty proud of it. It's a lot of work, and it's been really great for my mental health and for exercise for my physical health as well. I'm um, having just something to look forward to and to do during the day that keeps you active and outside is a big deal. But I just want to encourage anybody that look at how ugly this. I mean, look at guys. But look at I've got I've got sweet potatoes growing in the middle of all these weeds. You don't have to have this pristine, beautiful garden to get out there and just put some seeds in the ground. Look at I got a watermelon. Hold on. You sunk his aircraft carrier? Excellent. Good job, bud. Cordis is in there playing Battleship with Dan. <laughs> but so this is really my first year actually having a serious garden that I've done from seed and that I've semi-planned out. I'm proud of it. Next year, I'll make improvements. Um, and I guess that's about all we can ask for, right? But anyway, just wanted to encourage everybody and show you my garden. Have a good day.